All right, now this is going to be my most Ugh. pessimistic part. John Cena defeats Rusev for the United States Championship. I wasn't fond of this. I thought that the match itself wasn't keeping my attention. The end of the match was really lame. And I think it speaks volumes that you've got a situation where Rusev comes out, he gets booed. They run a video package of America, it gets cheered. John Cena comes out immediately. John Cena sucks. Vince McMahon's probably like, what the fuck do I have to do to get these fucking people to cheer the fucking guy? People are against Rusev. They're for the American angle, and it's still just, but I don't want to fucking see Cena. Cena gets a lot more flack than he deserves, but still, this ended up being a typical John Cena match, and the ending was just this simple, lame, blah end to an undefeated streak. It ends with just a, a an accidental push off the apron and an attitude adjustment, and, that's, and then done. What an epic ending. You know, like, that was just fucking lame to me. If anything is the low point of this pay-per-view, it's gotta be this match to me. What do you guys think? Agreed. This match was horrendous. It was... I mean, it was horrendous, but you know what it brought that? It brought everything down. The Demons match did not slow the pace of this pay-per-view down. No. This match did. Like, uh, the, these guys really started stinking the joint out. You know what? Their, their entrances were cool. Uh, Rusev especially. Like, the guy came out in a fucking tank. tank. Yes. <laughs> they gave the guy a fucking tank. It was fucking amazing. Um, but this match just stunk the place out. And I again, I fast-forwarded through a bunch of this because I just couldn't stand it. Uh, I went right to the end. That, that's unfair where then. Rusev, you could say it stinks if you didn't watch all of it. I, I read it when we watched it, Drew. Okay, fucking, there you go. There you go. Talk. I'm talking about when the first time I watched it. So don't fucking come here trying to act like you know me. Um, <laughs> Rusev knocks Lana off the apron there and they gets pinned and it's over. That's the end of the streak. Like, that's it. Lol Cena wins. Like, what a, what a complete waste in the last year. Um, Rusev, I worry for him because not only is the streak going too, it looks like they're also take, looks like they're taking Lana away from him too. And I'm not down for that because they're a great package. And, Lana will probably be okay by herself. I don't think Rusev will be able to to, to swim by himself, though. See, I kind of think that Rusev on his own will do better than Lana on her own. Rusev ain't got them legs. Well, he does. He has thunder fights. Yeah, but who's going to be partnered up with Lana, then? Like, who could she be with? With that kind of character. They're going to teach her to bump, and she's going to wrestle. I could see it happening. As far as this match goes, I think it's got way more hate than it deserved. It was actually a solid match. I'm not going to say it was a good match, but it was a solid wrestling match. Um, people that dislike it are disliking it because of how awesome the rest of the show's been. Again, I think it suffers from a lot of what Randy Orton and Seth Rollins did, where it got made look a lot weaker than it was due to how good the rest of the show was. But I'm not com I'm not going to say this match was anywhere near as good as the Orton versus Seth Rollins, but it wasn't a bad match. No, it was bad. These guys fucking stuck the joint out, dude. Like, yeah. they, they, there's, there was nothing going on for, like, minutes at a time during this match. See, I didn't like their fast lane match either. So I got to just assume I don't like the two of these two working together. Yeah, they remind me a lot of their fast lane match. The only thing different was that Lana decided to throw a shoe in the... Mm. fucking ring and when Booker T said that John Cena broke out of the act like didn't he already break out of it at Fastlane no he passed out didn't Jack Swagger break out of the act at one point probably as far as um, Rusev's future in this I think he's fucked I said as soon as he hits that brick wall which is John Cena which we all knew eventually it was gonna happen Happened at WrestleMania, and that's probably the greatest stage for him to fail on, so he's done. Unless he beats John Cena, beats John Cena decisively, and then fucking, I don't know, beats Roman Reigns, he's fucked. I think that there is still a chance for him, but it's going to be hard, that's for sure. 
they can't just push him aside and get to him two months down the lane. Again, they can't take Lana from him. I'm hoping this is just like an excuse to have Lana be away while she's finishing up this movie she's doing, and then yeah. she'll just come back and be by his side. One of the f- couple things I'll I'm gonna question till until Cena retires is Cena will put some guys over and it doesn't make sense or you know it's just him doing it. But when it comes to a guy like Rusev where he needs the win. He doesn't do it. And he did it with the Wade Barrett back in 2010. And, you know, he went on and do interviews saying it was a mistake. But I don't understand when it's obviously he doesn't need – he needs to put him over and he doesn't do it in this case. I don't think it's Cena's choice. Mm-hmm. I, I think, think Cena – no, I think Cena has a choice in this as well. I know I know uh, my man gets the, final, gets the final choice. But it def- Cena definitely has a say in this. It's his character, I think, and he's their top guy. I think he has as much to say as Vince does. When no, I, I, but I think Cena's just such a company guy. He just shows up for work and does what he's told. I think Cena can be the type of person who... he Not that he, like, dictates what's happening. I think that he can get in Vince McMahon's ear if he wants to win and change it to him winning. But I think if Vince McMahon wants John Cena to win, it's happening no matter what. Kind of that thing where, like, Vince is on the fence. If John Cena wants to go one way or the other, he's going to go with whatever John wants to do. But The way this story was being written from the very start, John Cena was always being intended to come out on top in mm-hmm. the end. Right. So it would have been weird had Rusev won. So, yeah. And they That's never... why I was hoping that at, at the very least the match would have been good enough to make up for it, and I don't think it was. Yeah, they... They fucked Rusev. They they knew he was going to be fed to John Cena. And John Cena doesn't need any more guys fed to him. He's being a, the, the established star for God knows how long now. You go on a losing streak and people would still buy a Cena fan and winning just because of little Cena wins. Well, he did, did for like an entire year. No, he didn't lose every match during that year. I nah, but I mean, he lost like every important match. Should have lost to David Otunga. <laughs> well, like every Raw that year? Oh man, that would have been awesome if David Otunga did pick up a random win over Cena. He lost to fucking Tenzai. But Otunga over man, what a dick. That's probably why Otunga goes, hangs out with his dead family because he's still mad that Cena didn't put him over. <laughs> hangs out with his dead family. Yo, this tombstone's gym. Swans. <laughs> Sitting there in the uh, cemetery. He's got like some... Uh... That type of chair that you bring when you're tailgating out somewhere. <laughs> Drew doesn't bring chairs anywhere. He'd burn them all. <laughs> so, if these two have a match at Extreme Rules, what type of match do you think that they should have? An Extreme I'm... Rules match. <laughs> I was just going to say, I am really hoping we don't get a last man standing. Isn't that the theme for John Cena matches at Extreme Rules the past couple years? Exactly, and I don't want to fucking watch that because that's going to be such a goddamn bore. We Whoa, want yeah. chairs match. I'd rather see a chairs match than a last man standing. Fuck Again, yeah. submission match. Do it. Make it happen. Do submission, it, baby. Submission match, and then... Oh, you hey, know, if here's a taps out to see him, oh, he's definitely fucked then, so... Yeah, I would that's like to that's see the like... way how you fucking kill Rusev. I don't it's... understand why I see... I don't understand, like, I, that people, like, would refuse to tap to them. But, man... Wouldn't it have been fucking awesome if Cena just tapped him? Oh god, that would have made me so happy. No. I still reckon an I Quit match would be great. Just to hear John Cena oh, yeah. quit. Oh my god. I don't think Cena's ever lost an I Quit match. You know how you make John Cena lose an I Quit match? You like grab one of the Make a Wish kids and yeah. put him in the accolade. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you just bring Edge out there and say he'll break his fucking neck. <laughs> Yeah, fucking get Connor's brother, get Seth Rollins to fucking <laughs> put how oh, whole bit, no. like have fucking Big Show hold him down. I'll do it, John. Make him sit for that fucking segment again. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Uh, we have two more matches to talk about for WrestleMania. Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt is next. 